We really do love hearing from our community through our nine listens campaign and now something a little different a way for you to share anything you want, literally anything on your mind with us. Yeah, and we're talking about, I mean, anything, a personal story, a complaint, there. or just something that just makes you happy. Here's our first Your Turn segment with a visit to Brighton, Colorado, and a grandmother looking to carry on a Christmas tradition. All right, we're rolling right now, so I'm gonna close the door. One, two. And right, I know we're we're Brighton, Colorado. You're in control. No interviewer, just you, a camera, and your words inside our mobile studio. You drive the topics and say whatever is on your mind. This is your turn. All right, All right. go for it. Hi, um, happy holidays. This is Susie Undix Cardoso with Armani Zapeta, my granddaughter. And we were on a mission this year to complete a complete? Christmas stocking that my Omama started many years ago. And today was a day we were out on the mission and we dropped off the top part of the stocking to have our money's name put on the top. Mm -hmm. And we went to Hobby Lobby yeah. and purchased the additional pieces to finish yep. out the stocking. Because no bunnies, no rabbits, no, no reindeers. Yep, it's we're gonna add an arm and a, and a snowman because hat. How can it have an arm or a leg? Right, so we're gonna complete this um, stocking and um, put a lot of love into it. So it'll have all my love and magic in it and Oma's love and magic for our money. We stopped in at um, Cox Ranch um, Embroidery, and they will be doing the embroidery uh, of Armani's name here in my little town, Brighton. Keep everything local. My grandmother had this tradition for all of my family when we were growing up, and then she made one for all of my family, of which I'm including a photo so you guys could see her her work before and, me. and before Armani was born. So now the new generation to continue our beautiful family tradition. Um, thank you and God bless. All done? I think we're done. All good. So hopefully it's not too rambly. They did she, a great job. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, she did a great job. And we we actually were not going to air this segment, but she had such a topical Christmas story. We're like, let's get something on. Let's 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 launch this a little bit. Uh, do a little soft launch on our your your, your turn segment. And so we had uh, about six other people in Brighton get into the VW bus that we had, and then we had uh, four more people get into the bus in Denver. So it's a new kind of segment we're going to test out in the next few months. Uh, just have people go in there and share whatever they'd like. Well, and that was a great story. Yeah, and the concept of that is just absolutely brilliant, right? Yeah. To have our viewers, the people that matter. There's so many times as journalists, you know, we've been doing yeah. these nine news listens events, and we come back. We're like taking notes we're like oh my gosh we didn't know about this or this happening yeah. or this matters to you and so to actually hear yeah. from people on air it's an incredible concept it's like why didn't we think of this sooner that was awesome yeah yeah and it just it takes the interviewer out of the equation and lets people kind of like open up in mm -hmm. a closed space in the van and the, the 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 bus that we rent and it gives them the opportunity to share exactly what they want how they want to in their own words yeah, in a yeah. safe space and a very kind of like this yes very, very cool. much like in a very safe space yeah, yeah. and good i was job. i was surprised Surprised how people opened up. Really? You got some good bus. stories. Yeah, how people opened up. They were very authentic and they talked about some very serious topics. And we, we, we expect to air our next segment early next year in, in, in January. Right there. So I think it's going to work out. Something to look forward to. Yeah. All right.